other students of class 9 so today in this video i will be completing uh, the rest two stanzas the last two stanzas of the poem gift of india by sarojini naidu is an anti war poem it can also be called a patriotic poem it can also be called an elegy and uh, throughout the poem the poet sarojini naidu she is conveying the uh, message she is conveying one important message that we should always remember in our memory the loss that has been faced by the indian mothers when their sons their one and only sons fought in the battlefield far away from the mother india and we should always respect and honor their deeds whatever they have done for the country whatever they had done for the british people and they sacrificed their lives just for the sake of another battle just for the sake of the british army so in the last stanza They are strewn like blossoms mown down by shams on the blood brown meadows of Flanders and France. So, in the last, in the third stanza, it is given that the uh, soldiers, the Indian soldiers, they fought for the British army in in the foreign countries, and the names of those countries are Flanders, France, and they are now dead, and they are lying scattered like beautiful flowers in the foreign countries, in the blood brown meadows of Flanders and France. can you measure the grief of the tears i weep so in this uh, third stanza the author is asking one difficult question to the british that can you people measure this grief the pain that i am going through that the mother india is going through or the pride that thrills through my heart's despair and the hope that comforts the anguish of prayer and the far sad glorious vision i see of the torn road of the torn red banners of victory so she is saying sarojini naidu on the behalf of the other indian mother she is asking this one difficult question to the british that you will never understand the pain or you will never be able to uh, measure the pain that the mothers go through when they lose their sons and also at the same time the indian mothers they are proud of their sons why because because of the uh, because of the sacrifice that has been done by the indian soldiers the british they got victory the british got uh, the british won the battle so this indian mothers all the indian mothers they see the red banners of victory and in their mind they feel pain but at the same time their mind is excited by the thought that their sons have achieved so much in life because of their sons sacrifice the battle was won so this third stanza is all about the emotions it is all about the feelings of a mother who is feeling pain and uh, who is feeling pain on one hand on the other hand the mother is also feeling excited she is feeling proud of the achievement of her son so it's a kind of mixture of feelings that is felt by the indian mother and this uh, feelings and exp expressions has been uh, conveyed in this third stanza by the poet sarojini naidu now coming to the fourth stanza that is the last stanza when the terror and the tumult of hate shall see so the last stanza is the conclusion concluding portion and here in the concluding stanza the poet sarojini naidu is talking about what happens she is talking about the after effects of war that what happens after war ends when terror and tumult tumult means i hope you people know chaos and confusion tumult is chaos and confusion chaos or confusion so she is saying that when this hate will go when terror and tumult shall stop life will be refashioned on angles of peace refashion means life will again gain uh, life will again be in a 
normal situation. Life will be normal again. So refashion means that life will again start in a new way. Life will begin in a new way. Life will begin in a new way. So she's saying that after the war ends, after this hate goes away, life will be again uh, begin. Life will be uh, uh, refashioned again on anvils of peace. Anvils of peace means there will peace will prevail after this chaos, confusion, death, murder, bloodshed. There will prevail peace. Everyone will be at peace. But at that point of time, will people remember about the sacrifice of this of these Indian soldiers who are now lying dead in the foreign countries? So for that reason, Sarojini Naidu, she is asking us to keep these Indian soldiers in our memory. And your love shall offer memorial thanks to the comrades who fought on the dauntless ranks. She is saying that we should offer our thanks to these Indian soldiers, at least in our memory, we should keep them in our memory. We should love them, we should respect them, and we should talk about the deeds, about the sacrifice that has been done by the Indian soldiers. And to the comrades, comrades means, again friend, companion. Comrades is companion. So here, comrades, who are the comrades? Comrades are the Indian soldiers. They are the companions, definitely. Why? Because they have they have been a friend and they have sacrificed their lives for the for the for someone else's battle. Were they supposed to uh, fight that battle? No. Were they supposed to um, kill themselves because of someone else's battle? No. But they had to because they had no other choice because they were under the shackle of the British people. So we should give respect to these comrades, to these Indian soldiers who fought on the dauntless. Dauntless means someone who is not at all scared, a very courageous person. He's uh, someone who is not, someone who doesn't fear anything. So dauntless, these Indian soldiers, they were dauntless. They did not once even think. They did not once even uh, think about their life. They did not think about their family, but they let down their lives. So. And you should honor the deeds of the dauntless one. So deeds means works. D double E D double E D S. It means work. So we should or we should we should always respect the deeds of the Indian soldier. And we should remember the blood of my martyred sons. So this Sarojini Nairo, she is talking, she is the voice of the Indian mothers, and she's saying that we should always remember. The blood of my martyred sons. Martyred means, I hope you knew, know the meaning of martyr. Someone who sacrifices their lives for the country. Martyr. So these Indian soldiers, they were the martyred sons. They sacrificed their lives. They sacrificed their lives. They sacrificed their lives for the uh, British people. So, this stanza is about the conclusion. This is about the post effects or the after effects of war and throughout this poem. She is asking this one thing that we should do. That is, we should remember and we should respect all the deeds of the Indian soldiers. Because war, at the end of the day, war brings nothing to us. It brings depression, it brings death, it brings losing family, it brings losing sons, it brings uh, what? Losing a son, losing a husband, losing a brother. So war, we should stop doing wars and we should love people more and there should be Empathy, there should be sympathy and everything in human being more other than these anger, anxiety or you know outrage. So these things should be totally eradicated from the human life and we should love and we should be more kind to other people. We should give more to the to this world to make this world a better place.
So I hope this poem, The Gift of India, is clear with you people. And uh, so this is the end of the poem. So in my next video, I'll be uh, telling you about the figures of speech that are used in this poem. So as of now, bye all of you. Take care. Thank you.